Hey YouTube, Merrick Pie here. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping first. Somebody was saying that I wasn't being very magnanimous, wasn't being very gregarious, wasn't being very uh, boisterous, aka I wasn't really being that loud. So, fiddled with the levels a little bit. Um, it's it's all right. Uh, my main issue is it uh, adds this hissing static in the background. So. Depending on how this sounds, I might uh, change it for other videos back to lower, but just sort of scream into the mic like a raving lunatic. Anyways, um, here is the four-way controller. Four-way controller. Um, if you have or haven't seen my uh, two-way controller video, if you haven't, I've got a link up in the top left corner. Um, but if you have, it is basically just using the same exact design as that controller, except I added two additional AND gates to govern the missing directions, in our case up and down, since the uh, two-way controller was going left and right. Here's a look at the wiring, and it is stupidly large. Um, I initially, when I was building this last night, uh, was thinking about trying to make it stackable which is why you have this sort of rudimentary AND gate right here um, that doesn't use any uh, upward um, torches. But I started building it at about 11 last night and uh, I really didn't want to deal with making sure it's all stackable and messing with all that. Let me turn the rain off. There we go making sure that it was all stackable and you know having to redesign the each cell I guess each uh, bit so that it uh, is more stack friendly um, so I just decided to make it all spread out but that ended up causing you know all these busing lines to be all over the place and that's just the half of it if we go drop down to the bottom all this down here is simply controlling, other than maybe this stuff hanging up above, um, it is simply controlling the directional inputs. Um, each of these sort of uh, vertical lines going up, each of those control one of the AND gates, whether it's the down, left, up, or right AND gate. Um, and, like I said, pretty enormous but uh, since it's all experimental stuff and me f trying to figure out whether my logic is working correctly, I'm not really caring too much about the compactness. Okay, so here's it actually working. I'm not going to show it working back there because you can see all that info on the two-way controller. But I will show you after it working, I'll show you a little game that I made. Um, it's not the snake game, but it is a maze game that you can use as a totally stupid lock if you want. Um, obviously, you'd have to assume that you have unlimited space for your uh, for your system because this is a little ridiculous. Um, I guess you can make it smaller. When I get to it, I'll talk more about it. So here's it working. Uh, I press up. Oh. Me. So it's positioned like a D-pad if you're looking at it from above. So up, left, down, oh, down, and then right. So I pressed up and my pixel went up. I press right and nothing happens. Duh. I press left and it goes left. And right now I have a little glitch going where going to the left through this column right here uh, causes it to skip over it and it's out I know it's a timing issue because it used to down used to always also do that but I can't seem to get the timing to work correctly so I'm gonna have to fiddle with it a little bit but I figured it's close enough to being perfect that I could go ahead and post this on YouTube so there's left here's up Here's up again. There we go. There's down. And 
and let's go back right. Okay, so there you see it working. Uh, trust me that it works on every single pixel. Um, I'm not going to go through every pixel because it'll take far too long. But give me a second and I'll show you the maze that I made that can be used as a utterly ridiculous lock. See ya. La di da di da. La di da. Oh no! It is a locked iron door. However, will I get through? I guess I can just place a redstone torch and open the door, but that would be cheating. Or I could destroy the area below it, but that would also be cheating. Look at this. Wonder what this could be. All right, all right I'm gonna stop the uh, the fake sarcasm, the fake acting, because I'm not a good actor. I'm just going to tell you what exactly this is. It's the maze that I was talking about. Um, and it basically just uses the four-way controller. These lit up uh, redstone torches, these three pixels, and these three pixels are essentially walls that you can add into your uh, four-way controller. And um, all you have to do is take this pixel, which is the pixel that you're controlling, and get it up to here. So, see, I gotta go one. There's the glitch again. Let's see if I can go through the wall. Nope. Okay. Working as intended. Let's go to the left again. Let's go up. Up. I gotta go right. Again. Again. And then up. And it's over there, so let me go check my door. La -di -da -di -da. Hey, the door's open. So, there is a use of the four way controller. Um, it, I'm not going to go into how it's working that much. All I basically did was take the uh, control points off of these three pixels and these three pixels. Um, as well as remove the ability for this pixel to go up into those into those areas, down into these areas, and then I guess to the right into here and the left into there. Um, that's pretty much all all you had to do there. You could probably make it make your system a lot smaller, um, a lot more compact doing something like this. Really, this is a um, a combination lock with multiple, where well, you have to put in a single number in multiple times. Um, so, like, you can say, I pressed one, 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 so four ones, two twos, two two, three threes, three, 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 and then a one again. So, four ones two twos, three threes, and a one. Um, so I guess you could use this as just a combo lock if you're gonna... if you want to have it like that. Um, other uses... you can use this as a up-down counter that can also go up by tens or whatever base you're working in. Um, since this is a 16 pixel, you'd be working in base 4. So one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. But this would be like two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, three, one, three, two, three, 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 four. You're working in modulo. I don't know if anybody knows what that means. Uh, modulo base four. Um, so you could use. I guess you could plug this into some sort of like alarm system for a digital clock. So like. Um, your up would be changing the minutes by 10, uh, your down would be subtracting 10 minutes, your left would be adding one minute, your right would be subtracting one minute. You can really hook it up however you want and then just have some sort of AND gate that says, hey, we've hit the same combo that um, the alarm says, so it's time to play a chord or whatever. I've seen somebody make something like that. That's what gave me the idea. Um, I don't know if they used this system. Hey, it's raining again. 
Um, what I hope to do next is try to make the ability for the snake to gain uh, pixel length, gain, uh, increase the length of its body every time that it eats another pixel. Um, so like it starts out as a one by one head, and then it becomes a two by one snake, and then a three by one snake. Um, but it's ending up being a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I guess the sheep likes to hear me talk. The pigs, they don't like to hear me talk. Because uh, they are dirty. Dirty, dirty pigs. Um, I've been experimenting with that. You can sort of see it off in the distance right there. My experiment with trying to increase uh, body length. Um, but it's it's ended up being a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, so I asked the guys at Redstone Compendium. If you don't know what Redstone Compendium is, it's basically just a forum post on minecraftforum.net. Um, and if you've ever used a redstone logic gate or um, some schematic of redstone, you probably got it from some of the guys at the redstone compendium. Because they're basically all just electrical engineers. Um, who work in redstone and work with logic gates in real life. So they, if, and if they're not actual redstone en or electrical engineers, <laughs> that'd be funny, redstone engineers. If they're not actual electrical engineers, then they're budding electrical engineers. Um, so hopefully they can give me some insight into figuring out my problem. Uh, I would like to thank uh, both DocM and uh, Wolf David. Uh, Sir Dava is his YouTube page, YouTube channel, name, username, that's the word I'm looking for, that's ridiculous. Um, I'd like to thank both of them for liking the video, my uh, two-way video, two-way controller video, uh, because that has get gotten me most of the other subscribers, most of the other views, um, because they are lords of Minecraft, um, lords of Minecraft wizardry, and I bow before them. Uh, so, thanks guys. Uh, hopefully I can get more, and hopefully I can surpass you all and become the overlord of Minecraft wizardry, redstone, engineering, whatever. Um, I'm well on my way to 25 subscribers, but I don't want to go ahead and shoot my load that early. I'm going to wait for 50 before I give a celebratory post. Um, and it's going to be pretty darn awesome. I I've had it sitting in the back burner for a while, so it's not anything new that I made, but it is pretty awesome. I guess the sheep stopped caring about me speaking, and the chicken... The chicken doesn't like me either. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked and making this video longer than it really needs to be. Um, thanks. Keep watching my video. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Keep telling your friends. And until next time.